Have you ever stopped to consider the nature of your own will? What is it that drives us to make the choices that we make? Is it our own desires and ambitions, or is it something greater than ourselves that we are tapping into? This week, I want to share with you some thoughts on our own nature and our own will, and why it is so important that we align our personal will with that of God's. Let's go. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Application. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Devin, and I appreciate you again being here. If this is your first time here, welcome to our channel. Thanks for joining us. If you're a longtime watcher, hey, I appreciate you joining again. Welcome back. Application is a vlog style video where we take a few moments to look at the truths of the Word of God and apply it to our everyday life. Content can be found here on YouTube, but then also on social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Again, if you could do us a favor and like and comment this video, we would really, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you know every time we upload a video every Monday. We really appreciate you being here. Let's get to it. The past few weeks, we've been talking about our internal design, our interior design, what makes us who we are. We've been talking about our mind and our emotions and feelings. This week, we're going to talk about our will and what place our will has in our life. Let's start out by defining our will. According to scripture, our will refers to the innermost desires and intentions of our hearts. It is the uh, driving force behind our choices and actions, and it reflects the unique way in which God has created us. Proverbs 16 and 9 says, The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. This verse suggests that while we may have our own plans and desires, it is ultimately God who directs our steps and guides us in the way of truth or the way that we should go. Our will is a key aspect of our human nature, but as Christians, we are called to align our will with God's will in order to fulfill his purpose for our lives. As Christians, we believe that God has a plan for each of our lives. We believe that he created us with a purpose and that our ultimate goal is to fulfill that very purpose. In order to do this, we must first understand our own will and then seek to align it with God's will. Romans 12 and 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then, and only then, will you be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So what does this mean for us? How can we align our will with God's will? Number one, seek God's guidance through prayer and meditation. Prayer is a powerful tool for aligning our will with God's will. By spending time in prayer and meditation, we can open ourselves up to receive God's guidance and wisdom. Jesus said in Matthew 6, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. When we seek God first, we can trust that he will guide us in the right direction. Number two, study God's word. The Bible is our guidebook or our, our guideline for life. By studying God's word, we can learn more about his will for us. Psalms 119 to 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light into my path. When we read and study the Bible, we can gain a better understanding of what God wants us to do. And number three, surrender fully our will to God. Ultimately, we must be willing to surrender our own will to God's will. Jesus demonstrated this perfectly in the Garden of Gethsemane when he prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22 and 42. When we surrender our will to God, we allow him to work in us and through us to accomplish his purposes. Our will is a powerful force in our lives. It drives us to make choices and pursue our goals and our dreams. However, as Christians, again, we must know and remember that we need to be willing to align our personal will with that of God's. By God's guidance through prayer and meditation, studying his word and surrendering our will to him, we can fulfill his purpose in our lives. Remember, Romans 12 and 2, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then and only then will you be able to test and approve what God's will is. May we all seek to align our will with God's and in doing so fulfill the ultimate purpose for our life. Can I pray with you? Father, our prayer today is that we would continue to surrender our will to yours. 
just as Jesus said, not our wills, but your will be done. God, we have thoughts and plans for our own lives. We have um, things we want to do with our own lives, ways we want to go. But ultimately, Lord, for the purpose that you've given us to be fulfilled, we must be surrendered to you. So, God, we surrender our hearts. We surrender our minds. We surrender our will over to you so that your good purpose would be fulfilled. We bless you and we thank you in Christ's name. Amen. Hey guys, thank you so much for being a part of today. We hope that you were encouraged and that you were blessed by this few moments we had in the word of God. Do me a favor again, like and subscribe this page and comment. We would love to have you in our conversation. And again, ring the bell so that every time a new video pops up every Monday, you will be notified and you can connect with us. Of course, look at the video over the corner because that's what YouTube wants you to see. And I will see you next week. Peace.